Hello everyone and welcome to a new DB schema tutorial. In this video, we're gonna talk about layouts. First, let's start a new project. As you can see, DB schema already opened a layout with all the tables from the database. But now the tables are a bit messy, so we can choose to auto-arrange them with or without grouping. To understand better what a layout is, let's create a new one. Let's call it layout1. From here, we can choose what tables we want to include in this layout. There are two other methods to add a table to the layout. The first one is to drag and drop the table from the left panel to the layout. And the second one is to add a table based on the foreign key relationships. To edit a table directly in the layout, all we have to do is double click on its header. From here, we can edit the primary key, the foreign key, uh, the constraints or other options. To edit a column, simply double click on it. To open a quick view of the table data, all we have to do is hold the control and shift keys, then click on the table header. From here, we can see the data type of every column. And from here, we can change the way the foreign keys are pointing. They can point to the table or directly to the column. We can also insert callouts in the layout by right-clicking on an empty space and select Add Callout. We can also add comments to the tables or to the columns by double-clicking on them. We can also generate this layout into HTML5 or PDF documentation. We have to select the option in the Layout uh, drop-down. give it a name and our documentation will open in a, in a new tab in the browser and we can see the callout and the comments from the table and from the columns if we hover with the mouse over them. That's all for this layout video. It's a very useful tool, um, especially for focusing on a specific part of a complex database and uh, for designing it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.